Now look, I'm going to be showing y'all the best jump shots in NBA 2K24 for all different type of builds, archetypes, play styles, ratings, heights, everything, okay? You're going to want to stay tuned and send it to a friend. Send it to someone who can't shoot, okay? I play with randoms all the time. I know you guys can't shoot. You guys are horrible at shooting. You can't shoot off the dribble. You can't shoot on one of the easiest shooting 2Ks ever, man. Yeah. So firstly, what you want to do? Play on release, okay? It's very important. Play on release, it gives you the most time to react for whatever weird RNG animation you're going to get. There's a lot of different load ups, there's latency, you might mispredict it, might, something might register wrong. Release gives you the longest time to react to all that nonsense, okay? It's the best. You think this don't matter, switch it to whatever you want that's completely opposite from what you normally use and watch you miss every shot, my boy. Now, secondly, if you're an elite, leave. There's no point, okay? Y'all messed up the affiliations. Rise is way better. Heat check is way better. There's two-way tenacity. It don't do nothing, my boy. I play on rise accounts, all that, but um, you see, we not gonna leave. Uh, Play on rise accounts, it's way better. When you get heat check, you can really do some nut stuff that's way better. Two-way tenacity, bro, it's nothing. These little shooting boost, it does it really even work? No, <laughs> I don't notice no difference, dog. Trust, just leave. <laughs> Go to rise. Who cares about your rep, bro? Just leave. Cause all you gotta do is just dunk the ball three times. You get some crazy shot, bro. That's crazy, bro. Just shoot from half court, back courts. It's insane. I don't. 2K devs are cooked, my boy. Hey, make sure y'all subscribe and like. Now look, this is my favorite big man jump shot. If y'all got a high three point. This is the one you want to go to, okay? I've used all the jump shots. KD's it, okay? For me, personally. I'm going to show y'all some other ones, too. Here goes another alternate reality. What y'all want to focus on with these jump shots is the release height and release speed. Nothing else matters. The base matters more than all these little ratings for your jump shots, okay? It's another alternate reality. Here go that damn Isaac. Now, look. See that height? I need mean, an 82 for this as a big. You could get this. Some of y'all probably got this with y'all's bigs, right? That's a decent enough release speed. And then you could really shoot over those. And you're bigger than people. It's Isaac, I'm telling you. A lot of people really like messing with the Isaac. Now, if you have a lower rating, okay? Rock with this hoe right here, right? It's kind of, eh. You know, you kind of go forward a little bit, but it's like, it's like the best you could do, my boy. It's pretty good, okay? For like this type of rating in three point. There goes another alternate reality, okay? If you got a 67, you, know, you could rock this one. We got another one. Here goes the Eric. It's pretty cool. You know, I showed y'all a better base, but you know, this is cool. The B plus the A, you know, it's decent. But the Isaac is really the one. Here's the best jump shot in the game. I think you got to hit starter three to unlock this jump shot. This is for small builds, six, five and under. OK, now, if you don't get this, you're going to use Curry. I'm going to go over those jump shots or AI or something like that. But this is everyone say this is the best jump shot in the game. All the meta people, all this and that. But look, I got something a little different. I got half release speed because everyone says it's really fast. I haven't tried the fast version. But he said the fast version is hard to time. But um, this is just the T-Mac version for guards. You can just shoot over people with hella contested shots. And um, that's why I got to have speed. And I'll be hitting with it crazy with no labbing. First time ever using a little build. All that, bro. I got an alternate reality timeline for this one. This is a faster version. You know, a little less uh, overdose. If you want a faster version, you can rock this. Or you could do the other combo and have it like those. But Oscar is definitely something you're going to want to want. Because you want to be shooting over people. Now, look. If you messed up your build or you just don't got an 87 midi or three, this is the best jump shot for you. OK, people won't even know that you're not using T-Mac. OK, it's almost just as effective. It got like the same animation. You shoot over those, all that. You can get it with lower um, midi and three point um, with these releases. I got it up a little higher. But, you know, if you messed up your build, use this for a popper, bigger ISO build um whatever every every type of build this is the one okay i used all them other ones and it, it just wasn't the same the jt throws all that i was missing so this hoe started making it 
way more okay it's probably a jump shot that's gonna be very popular especially for the less skilled people who didn't go 87 so this is a jump shot y'all should really be recommending to your friends if you want to get them w's and you getting double triple costco dippled abadaba rippled hey make sure y'all uh like the video subscribe you know show love comment down below for the algorithm join a discord if you need people to play with now look here's my favorite jump shot in the game usually when y'all asking this is the jump shot i am using favorite jump shot okay the t-mac y'll be like how you doing this dad if it looked like i got a high three or midi this is the jump shot i'm using if i'm on a six six plus okay best jump shot in the game I'm going to give you another alternate reality for the Jared. If you want it to be even slower for some reason, you're big or something, you want a higher release height to shoot over people, you know, if you don't got the uh, T-Mac, use this Jared alternate reality, okay? Now, look, if you got low ratings, you could try this one. Uh, I know someone who use it. It don't really got a high release height, but it got, you know, it's fast. But it got a low uh, requirement, okay? If um you can't get Jared... Hey, may maybe try this one, my boy. Now, if you want a different T Mac, you can use this one. You no know, different release point. Instead of the Erison, you can use the Bay. Okay. Another alternate reality of T Mac. Now, here's the Curry jump shot I like using when I don't have Patty Mills. This is what you should be using. But if for some reason you can't hit with Curry, okay, what you're going to want to do is use the baby T Mac of the jump shots. If for some reason you got a little guard and you don't have a higher midi and three point than this i don't know what's wrong with you you should probably use stockton but um if you find curry too hard to hit with use this one okay you, you might prefer it better than the other ones you know you can shoot over you know it's like a baby t-max same type of release or if you're just a bigger guard and you switch into a little guard try this jumper okay here's another jump shot and to get all your hot spots dog if you really struggling my career 12 minute quarters on rookie thank me thank me later that method seems to be easier than the street ball method met the street ball method still seems pretty easy but my career 12 minute rookie that seemed crazy easy a lot of people don't know about that bro okay and you could just shoot over people a lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings i even shoot over them in street ball a lot of y'all don't know that here man I want to show y'all this right here, guys, okay? This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots, and they're going to play, and then they're whining about the game, especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hot spots and maxing out their shooting badges you have to do it literally th this right here look y'all are playing and you don't even got this max how do you know the real truth of the game you feel me look hall of fame midi magician bro are you gonna miss a midi with that especially i already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game y'all go check it out for your build I gave y'all the best releases in the game too, and I'm finna go over the best jump shots again. I go, I put in different jump shots every time, but look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore, you wanna max this hole out. You wanna max out Mini Magician. You really wanna max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing a... Uh, the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first like i don't know if i'm just tripping but i just feel like these shooting badges change everything like like it's not even close like when you play with without this and then compared to with this it's completely different bro that catch and shoot one of the most important badges bro people don't even got their catch and shoot max they're gonna go play and they're missing Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you got to get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what, but I know overall when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build. 
right? Look, space creator, max that hole. Watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole. Watch what happens. You you see these badges? You want to max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you want to max this hole out. Before you say, like, the shooting this and that and that and this. The, the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases, and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying. It's broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wang really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen, okay? Limitless range, max it out. Watch what's going to happen. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro. Max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall. Like all of them, right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way. This is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day. All these badges you see... I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them. Get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But, you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But, you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up. Yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade. Okay, um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. <laughs> Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now, one more thing. In every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback. You could turn off everything. If you, like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on. 
But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.